Hello again. I had a question yesterday from one of my subscribers asking me, how do you block emergency or public radio frequencies so you don't accidentally transmit? Uh, that's a very good question. I remember I asked the same thing when I uh, first got back into ham radios and I was programming public or, um, yeah, public channels on my radio. And you don't want to accidentally transmit because it's a huge fine and possible jail time. So you don't want to do that because you could risk somebody's life if you're tying up the frequency or blocking it so they can't get the vital information out to the emergency responders. Now, I remember when I got my ham license, it said you can use a frequency, but only in a life or death situation. And I don't even think I would do that. I would dial 911. But um, don't risk it. Don't try it. And let me show you how you can block your radios from transmitting. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use programming software to block your handheld radios. I also have over here, I have uh, AT, what is it, the AT778UV. I'll show you how you can block frequencies on that using Chirp and their software. And the same thing on the handhelds again. We will use um, the BTEC software and I'll show you using Chirp. I actually think it's easier using Chirp, especially if um, you're not used to programming radios or if you're new to the hobby. First radio we're going to look at is my Baofeng BFFHHP Pro radio. And we're going to look at blocking it from transmitting using Chirp and the BTEC software. Now to download from your radios, you're going to need to have a download cable. Now, if you're using a handheld radio, uh, such as the Baofeng radios, if you have Windows 10 or below, you can use the pretty much cheap cables you can get on Amazon, and this is a Baofeng brand. But a lot of these were counterfeit, and starting with Windows 11, the chip in here, um, is not updated in the Windows 11 software because a lot of them are counterfeit. And you're kind of out of luck. You can download a legacy driver, but I've done that twice and I've crashed my computer. So I would not recommend that. I don't know if it was a virus or just coincidence, but I had to um, reload Windows twice on my computer. And one of the times it completely crashed my computer and I, I had to reload Windows off a thumb drive and boot it up. It was, you know, took a long time to do that. So I don't recommend using the legacy drivers you can find on the internet. Um, if you do have Windows 11 and you're using a handheld, what you can do is grab the BTEC is the only one I've seen on Amazon that actually sells a cable that has a new chip in it and it's uh, compatible with Windows 11. So that's what I did. Now on my two meter Anytone radio, the cable that came with it to download, unfortunately has the same chip as the counterfeit cables and I cannot use Windows 11 on it. So, Unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to do it is use a Macintosh computer and then you can use Chirp. But if you want to use the Anytone software, you're out of luck because it only works on Windows machine. All right, I'm not going to show you how to download it. I've done that in other videos, but I do have the BTEC BF8 HP Pro software loaded on here. And I also have the Chirp software here. So these are local emergency channels I have around me. And it's really, really simple uh, 
to program your radio so you can't transmit. All right, on the BTEC software, all you do is go over here to the uh, transmit frequency offset. And usually when you download or put the frequencies in, it's going to put the same frequency as the receive frequency here. So all you need to do is clear it. Just make sure this column is blank and you cannot transmit. So if we go over to the right hand side of the screen and in the Chirp software, which I would recommend, I think it's pretty much easier to use. There's not much of a learning curve and it pretty well works on most ham radios. So all you need to do is go over to where it says duplex and you have a drop down menu here and all you do is make sure it is set to off. And once you have it on off, you will not be able to transmit on the radio. To verify that the frequency is disabled, as you can see on here, I have a fire dispatch that I use to scan. And if you press the transmit button, you can hear that it just beeps and that it is disabled. And last radio we'll look at here is I have the Anytone. This is a mobile two meter, 70 centimeter radio. And let's go ahead and look at the software for this radio to see how to shut, it, shut off the transmitting. It's actually pretty easy to turn off the transmitting. So you click on the line with the frequency you want to edit and make sure that this box is on off and that will block the radio from transmitting. And then make sure you click OK. But the one thing I don't like about this software is if you have a long list of frequencies you need to turn off, nowhere on here does it show that it's on or off. So that's why I like to use the Chirp software because you can look on here and you can easily see if your transmits on or off by looking at the duplex. So there you have it. Uh, pretty simple to disable the transmit on these radios using the Chirp software. I recommend the Chirp software again because I think that's the easiest to use. And when you pull up the database, it's very easy to see if you have the transmit disabled. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.